2011 at 7 in the high school auditorium. We need to record the members present, which I see we have all board members here. And we have an agenda that's been posted on the internet. I need a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. This is two check and a second. I'll second that. Mr. Farrell, all those, no further discussion? All those in favor signal by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? I'm going to open with the introduction of the board members. So I'm Jay Niedert, and next to me is Tom Farrell. He's the vice president. Uh, we have Steve Nelson uh, sitting down the far end. That's good if you wait. Michelle Tuchek. Um, we have Tammy Joe Zingmark. Uh, Paul Weist, right next to me. And Ryan Hank. Also with us tonight, we have Ben Schaefer, the superintendent. And uh, Mitchell Brooks. Mitchell, if you would stand up, maybe, so people know who we are. He's our new business manager. <laughs> And uh, welcome, welcome to Madison. We're glad to have you here. And then we also have Jeff Nelson from Baldridge Nelson and Associates down on, on the end here. Now, um, I think we have at least two school board candidates that have identified here. One is Corey Heidelberg, who's, who's over here. And then we have Jenny Thompson. Uh, Jenny. And I don't know if Corey Gunderson, Sean, oh yeah, Corey's back there. Okay. And Sean. Will he's on his way. Okay, so he's coming. And Nathan Nash. Is Nathan here? Uh, and maybe he'll come by here. So our purpose uh, in meeting tonight is to allow the school board to hear public input on the building project. Um, and that's what we want to have you all participate in tonight. But before we begin, I think Tom Farrell will give us a little history of the project uh, up to this point. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Neeter. The, uh, this is from the website, just gives a little background. I thought as we were getting ready to look at a second iteration of this, it might be good to take a look at where we are today and how we got to that particular point. And uh, this is on the Madison K-12 uh, renovation history uh, portion of the website. It was November of 2008 when a group of uh, concerned Citizens, teachers, staff, and administrators met to discuss the future of Madison High School. The services of a consulting firm was retained. It was Newman, Monson, and Wichter, and they had conducted an analysis of the Madison High School physical plant the year before, and their report in May 2008 prompted the organization of this committee. The committee worked then with the architects from Baldridge uh, and Nelson and uh, to identify the needs and the deficiencies with the Madison High School facilities. There were several months of meetings discussing priorities, clarifying the issues. The committee requested that the architects create a plan that would meet these identified needs. They also requested the architects project the cost of a new facility that would also meet all of the identified needs. During the 2009 and 2010 school year, the architects met with every MHS staff member and department to find out their specific needs, desires, and visions for their teaching and working areas. After meeting once with everyone, they returned with some beginning architectural drawings then they met with every department again to refine their plans and to ensure that the specific needs were being met for all departments and programs. In some areas and departments, the architect met at least one or two more additional times. Several students were also involved to find out their learning perspective for the proposed change. In July 2010, the committee recommended to the school board that the work with the architects needed to continue. In September 2010, the architects were able to present to the school board and the public a detailed financial breakdown of the proposed costs. In October, the board voted to allow architects from Baldridge Nelson to move forward with the project, which would allow them to create specific detailed plans and drawings for the project. It was in November the board passed a resolution to borrow money by issuing bonds in the amount of $16,975,000, payable from one and not to exceed 25 years for the purpose of financing the renovation 
and construction of the high school. And the election date was set for February 1st of 2011. And Mr. Schaefer, it's kind of last minute, but if you don't mind uh, explaining maybe a little bit about capital outlay. The capital outlay fund is, is just a segment of the larger budget for the district. The largest segment of the budget is the general fund, and the capital outlay is, is a much smaller and more precise or specific use part of the budget. That, that fund is determined on, a, on the local level by the Board of Education. They, set the, they have the authority to set the, the mill rate themselves. And at the, currently that mill rate is at three. <clears throat> and of course it goes against uh, real estate. And the revenue in that budget is then determined by the assessed valuation of the entire school district. And currently, it generates a million six hundred and seventy-nine thousand three hundred ninety-three dollars in, in revenue on a yearly basis. And what can that be used for? Well, years ago, it used to be much stricter than it is today, but some of the larger uses would be to purchase buses, uh, vehicles such as that. You can do curriculum updates. Typically we do curriculum updates out of capital that would include uh, K through 12, just changing the entire curriculum, like buying books and materials for every grade level K through 12. And that then does of course include St. Thomas. Who by law we have to take care of them as well. So, uh, in other Aspects would be for repair of existing buildings, such as roofs, boilers, water heaters, anything major and significant. Uh, leases can be used out of capital outlay, or you can pay for leases out of capital outlay, like for example, in, uh, copier machines, <clears throat> which in the K through 12 uh, system, there are several copiers, and uh, over the course of time, we find that you know we lease those. And then we also, of course, are paying for the elementary building out of this fund. We to call that uh, debt redemption. And we did pay for the entire middle school building, or the district did pay for the entire middle school building out of this fund. And that originated in approximately 93, and that is paid off. And the current elementary building is being paid for out of this fund. And this year, for example, uh, we, we sent a payment in of our, uh, we owe them $787,086. So, I mean, that's a pretty healthy payment out of there. And, and that, the, the length of that uh, uh, loan, I guess you might say, because we're, we're, we borrowed money on what we call cap all the anticipated certificates, and that is anticipating the amount of revenue we're going to get in the years to come. And it's a pretty common uh, use usage, and yet it's a usage that really encumbers that, that fund for many years. And then uh, we've got, a, a, I think it's about 11 years to pay yet on the elementary building. And it will continue to come out of this fund. All right, thank you. Um, we're hoping that there's going to be quite a few people that want